Hey everyone, this is Jerry Boulder from Clear Controls. Welcome to another Clear Tech Tuesday video. Today I'd like to talk about our flagship controller, which is the Click Mini. I'm sure you've probably all seen one, had one, probably even installed one in the past. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about installation, uh, best practices, things like that. So we figured we would uh, put a quick video together for you. On the webpage here at clearcontrols.com, if you go out to the product page, you can see I've got the Click Mini here on the screen. Um, I do want to point out there's resources here, there's a tab, and there is a ton of information here. Anything from data to quick start guides, installation, it's got screenshots and everything in it to make it a lot easier to, to do an installation. Um, also, if I pull this open here, there's a couple different ways to, to set these up. Um, it just depends on your uh, environment, you know, what you're installing, if it's a home that's already got wiring infrastructure or whether it's, you know, an installation you're doing uh, after the homeowner's already moved in. Uh, it's a very versatile product with a lot of uh, different choices you can use for the installation. It comes with PoE, which you can see there's a PoE injector there on the screen on the bottom right on the, the little diagram there. Also comes with a mini USB adapter if you're gonna be choosing to, to put it onto the, the local Wi-Fi network. Please, if you're gonna be planning on putting it onto the Wi-Fi network, it is 2.4 gigahertz only. Um, it, is, it is not compatible with a five gigahertz network, so keep that in mind. If you get into a situation where you have a 2.4 and a five gigahertz networks combined, you probably want to uh, get into the router and uh, isolate those networks just until you get this thing installed. Um, after that, it'll, it should just go back and connect to your 2.4 gigahertz once it's set up. So uh, there's, like I said, a couple different ways to do this. Um, even if you have a PoE switch, you could, you could connect it that way as well. Uh, out on our web page again, I want to go out to our knowledge base because there is a, a lot of information there. You'll know how to get to the, there, to the knowledge base, clearcontrols.com. You just click knowledge base. Um, if you click on the search button on the left-hand side and type in click, you're going to see there's the Click Mini installation. A uh, couple of different you know problems that I've heard of. Uh, people that have been having trouble maybe with an installation mostly comes with Wi-Fi. Sometimes the Wi-Fi or the location that, that you're putting the click mini, you don't want to have it buried in a structured can. You don't want to have it buried in a, a master bedroom closet or something like that. It should be up on the wall. It comes with um, brackets that you can hang it on a single gang um, outlet box. So you would probably want to, you know, get it up, especially if you're using Z wave, if you're using Z wave, you're going to definitely want to put that into a central location in the home. Uh, that way, it is going to communicate a lot better with all the different products that it's connected to. Uh, as far as being in a structured can, that's definitely not good for any kind of wireless connectivity, which would be Wi-Fi or Z-Wave, just because it's you know surrounded by metal. That's never a good idea. Uh, on the screen, though, there's there's again shows you all of the different installation methods that you, that you can use. Uh, probably the most popular one is the Click Mini, the PoE connection, which comes with the small brick for PoE, uh, especially if you're going to be doing uh, working with builders or something like that. If, if you have the opportunity to, to do the rough in with the builder, you're going to want to get this. You can put the PoE anywhere as long as you run, run a cable or maybe even two cables up to uh, the Click Mini installation area, which might be that single gang box. Just make sure you have a um, proper wiring for that, which would be um, a Cat5e Cat or a Cat6 cable in that location. Um, and that would be to use this method to power it up. So um, just make sure you take care of your planning in advance. You don't want to just put one of these anywhere. Think about what you're going to be using and what you're going to be installing before you just, you know, put this thing and install it, uh, put a little bit of thought into it. Um, as far as the installation process goes, the best way to test it is once it's installed, um, you know, maybe install a couple of products if it's if you're using Z-Wave and whatnot and make sure that it's connecting properly and you'll know that you have a good, a good location that, that you can be using. Uh, other things that are in here, it goes through pretty much every installation method that we've got. There's also the five volt micro USB connection. That's if you're going to be using Wi-Fi. Uh, when you boot this Click Mini up, depending on how it's booted up, it's going to either uh, know that there's a network connected, or if you don't have an Ethernet connected to it and you use this micro USB connection, it's going to start flashing red every five every half second. It'll be flashing red, which means it goes into a broadcast mode where you can go in with our Clear Install Assist tool and connect it to your Wi-Fi network that way. Uh, other things that are in this guide here, it goes right into the setup of the Clear Home app. 
Um, it's very simple to install. You should have no trouble getting this thing online. Um, it's, it's come a long way. I don't think anyone's going to have any problem. The biggest thing really to remember if you're using that Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz, not 5 gigahertz network. Um, other than that, I, I don't think you should have any problems getting this, uh, the Click Mini installed. So um, other than that, um, the last thing I want to touch on is updates. We do have at Clear Controls an update server where we can we notice or we recognize whenever that Click Mini uh, gets plugged in when it's brand new and it gets an internet connection. Uh, what it does is because these usually ship, uh, you know, maybe one revision behind. So once that gets an internet connection, it's going to pull in the latest update. When it pulls in the latest update, just be aware that the LED lights that you're going to see on the on the Click Mini itself. Um, you'll see it on the top of the Click Mini. There's an LED screen or an LED window. Um, it's going to be flashing red and blue. So no, there's not a problem with your Click Mini. It's going through that update process. So we have had a little bit of trouble with people unplugging it during that process. Um, and what you're doing when that happens is you're it's you're kind of powering it down during the middle of a firmware update. So try to avoid that. Uh, we can usually fix it remotely, but it's it's you know just something that can be avoided. So just make sure, like I said, red blue. After it gets an internet connection, it's it's just pulling an update and it's good to go. So just keep that in mind. Um, we have had a couple calls on that as well. So um, that's it for today. Um, thank you for joining us and please uh, please look for us next week for Clear Tech Tuesday.